Hey everybody, this is Aaron from Cantina here with another quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick fix um, when you encounter a problem with your Roto Solid. I'm just going to show you really quick what it is because it's hard to describe. So as we see here, I've got a shot of a guy climbing a ladder. He's climbing it up. It's uh, less than 100 frames. Alright, let's say uh, I already tracked the background. And let's say I'm going to want to Roto him out. Maybe I'm going to paint him out later. So I'm going to go ahead and make a solid. Let's say, let's turn down the opacity so we can see what we're doing. Um, and let's just say I was, uh, I was just going to get a nice little loose, the rub of him. Okay. So, rotate him out. There we go. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and parent this to my background track so that at least, at least some of the work is going to be done for me. So it's staying with the wall. Um, and I'm going to want to follow it up with him. So. I'm going to do a keyframe on the mask. Let's go ahead, like 20 frames or so. Um, we're going to move it up, keep it on him. Oops. Move it up, keep it on him. We've got another 20 frames. Grab them all, bring it up. All right, so it's staying with him. Uh-oh. Getting a problem. Looks like I've hit the edge of my solid. If I select my solid, you can see it here. And if I go switch my mask to none, you can see crap. Because of the way it was tracked in, my solid actually went down below where I need, uh, need it to be. There's a quick fix for this. Um, so no matter how you got to this scenario, and there's many ways that this could end up happening, um, without having to go back and, and change all of my keyframes or start from scratch and make a new solid and, and start all over, all you have to do is this quick fix. This isn't obviously your perfect workflow, but this will, uh, if you ever get caught in this situation, this will help you out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your red solid and you're just gonna pre-compose that. You're gonna leave all the attributes. Let's just call this roto fix. All right, looks good. Um, that made a pre-comp. We're gonna go inside of it and we're just gonna take this red solid and we're just gonna scale it up. Let's say to like 150, so he's extra big. We're gonna go back out. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go hit the sunshine or collapse transform, would be the official title. And booyah, it just brings the red solid right through there. So now, um, let's turn that mask back on. And there we go, voila, it follows with him all the way up. And if I uh, turn off that sunshine, you can see what it used to look like there. Um, chopping him off, but now the mask can go beyond. And that concludes our quick tip of the day. See you next week.